I grew up as a skateboarder in a college town, so I've always associated bars as frat boy territory. So in my 22 years of living in Columbia, South Carolina, I never once went to a bar and got a beer because I just associated it with this yeah, bro culture. I really wasn't much of a drinker as well, but I just thought, no, there's not a single bar in this world specified for a human being like me until I moved to Long Beach. Spoiler alert, this story is about the first time in my entire life that not only did I drink at a bar, but I got drunk. Oh, so drunk. Somebody recently mentioned in my comments that their favorite kinds of videos are when I go for this new fun adventure while telling an interesting story. And today is no different. We are going to one of the cleanest skate parks I have ever seen and have never been to in Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas area. So we were actually invited to this bar by a local skateboarder in Long Beach. When we first got there at Cherry Park skating away, somebody said you should come by. And I gave my usual spiel of, I don't like bars, no way. And he was like, trust me, bro. If you're a skater, you're gonna like it. And there were actual skate videos playing on the screen. And that's all it took. It was a small dive bar and there were skate videos. And I recognized like half the people in the room because they were skateboarders that I had known about before even coming to California. And I was there with the one and only Zach Gillespie from the Progress Daily YouTube videos. He was there with me my first time and things got a little wild, but I just showed up at the skate park. So let me get a session in and I will continue this story about where the night went because it wasn't pretty. It's way too windy. We have to lower our expectations by like a thousand. So let's let's knock down the hardness of all these tricks. bigger the wind is going with me so I can do it all right let's get like eight more tricks Even though this wind is excruciating and I do have brand new shoes that I'm trying out, which by the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you those shoes and it's insane how much I've gone through them. But the whole area I was skating over here on the right was built a couple of years ago. But the thing is, this whole other side of the park is brand new. Like I think a month ago, they built everything from here onwards. Can you hear the wind? So of course the first time you drink, you don't really understand tolerance or what that means. So my friends and I just kind of kept going and going and I was there with Zach, so I felt very comfortable. He's one of my best friends of all time. And I just, I just, I drink too much. I've always been the go-getter, I think, of our crew. And I've just been very serious when it comes to filming and skating. I'm always like, all right, here's the mission. Here's what we're doing. Let's go, let's go. So I was finally in a place with Zach where I was no longer that guy. I was just someone who's like, Long story short, the most embarrassing thing was I was like, Zach, dude, I'm just too serious, aren't I? I'm just so serious. And of course he replied, yeah, you're just way too serious. You really need to loosen up a little bit in life. Luckily, I remembered that conversation and it actually helped a lot with the future. Around my friends, I was way less serious and I was a lot more about Let's just have a good time. That's what we're here for, let's do it. It was the first time I was actually in a setting like that with alcohol involved where I felt comfortable. There were skateboarders there. It wasn't this crazy frat boy environment. It was just people talking about kickflips and talking about what was on the screen. Oh my gosh, Matt Bennett just did a Bennett grind down an 11 stair handrail. That was the conversation in the bar. Everyone was talking about skating. So when we were leaving, I was like on an extra high and I remember I was just like pushing down the road as fast as I could go and it was lovely. And then I ran into a bush and literally front flipped into a bush 
bush and was like upside down laughing so hard. It was a good time. I think after that we actually went to the beach because we were in Long Beach and it was like coming from this small town into this new city and just the whole vibe itself was, it was a very magical moment. And I think usually the first drunk story is a very embarrassing one, but for me, it was like, you know, it was a good result. Not that I recommend it to anyone because getting drunk isn't good really, period, ever. So that's my embarrassing story and I don't have that much energy left. The wind is still crazy, so let's try to get 15 tricks in this other area. They're probably not gonna be too technical, but we're gonna try. You been all of this? Yeah. Oh, sick. I'm gonna film it if that's cool. Oh! Wow. When you have a terrible session yourself, you pass it on to someone else and do all the cool tricks. but I'm not lying when I say that that session was most likely the worst one I've had in my entire life. I mean, like my entire life, hands down, that session was so awful that I, I, I could barely ollie. Like everything felt wrong. I think a lot of it had to do with the shoes. They're brand new canvas shoes. And from one session, this is what they ended up looking like. Keep in mind that this is a session that I barely even skated in. I had to wait my turn a million times and I still destroyed this shoe and they're terrible, but they look cool, so that's cool. I gotta imagine that watching my camera fall three times was probably really cringe. You're like, John, why didn't you learn your lesson the first time? Because in the past, when my camera has fallen, it's been my mistake. I've, I've done one of the legs wrong, but this time, no matter how good the foundation was, and when I put like it, the things in dirt, it still fell over. And every time I was like, there's no way it can fall. Like it'd have to be literally pushed by a human to fall, but the wind was that strong. It was like a person walking over and pushing it. I feel bad that I underutilized the second part of the skate park. It's brand new and I wanted to skate it a lot, but it was just impossible today. So maybe in the future I'll come back, but a lot of the locals were telling me that it's just always windy there. So there's a strong chance I won't come back to this part. On that note, I'll see you next time for another video every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my second channel. Channel, be sure to subscribe to this and uh, yeah, let's hit a million subscribers this year. That's the big goal. I'm excited about it and I will keep trying my best to pump out as best of videos as I can. And usually the skating is a little bit better than it was today. So tune, tune, poop, poop. Tune in for another video. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it!